I'm Sarah, I'm one of the trainers here at St Andrews First Aid. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do CPR during Covid restrictions. First up then, um, you need to make sure you've got a face covering on and if you do have gloves available, pop those on as well for protection. Uh, when you approach your casualty then, we need to check to see if there's a response. So, um, you want to give them a, sh a little shake on the shoulders, a little tap, hello, hello, can you hear me, can you hear me? Um, and if there's no response from your casualty, you want to shout help and, and hopefully a passerby, a member of the public will approach and we can ask them just to wait there um, and they can maybe further help to us um, soon. Then what you want to do is check the casualty's airway. So we're just looking to see if there's any obvious obstructions in there and then we need to then check for breathing. When we check for breathing, we're going to perform the head tilt chin lift to open the casualties airway. And what we're going to be doing during these 10 seconds is we're going to look, listen and feel for breathing. The hand can go into the abdomen as well just to see if you can feel it rising and falling. Yeah? After that 10 seconds, um, if you deem that your casualty is not breathing or there's some sort of abnormal breathing, then that's the time for us to then phone an ambulance. If you have a phone close by, you can dial 999 or 112 on that and you can pop that to the side and it can be on loudspeaker. Or if that member of the public that stopped to help you, you can ask them, could you phone me an ambulance please? Um, and ask them as well if they could get that defib that might be publicly available to bring it back to help us out. Next up then, what we need to do is we need to cover the casualties mouth and nose. Today, what I've got, I've got a hat, my hat that I have, and I'm going to use this to cover over the casualties mouth and nose. You might have a scarf that you have on that day or a spare face pass that you could use just to pop over the casualties mouth and nose um, for protection. We're then going to start off doing chest compressions and chest compressions only at this stage. Then what we're going to do, heel of the hand into the centre of the breastbone. The other hand is then going to be placed over the top. The rate of chest compressions that we do is 100 to 120 beats per minute. There's a wee song that we probably all know, the Staying Alive, to try and keep us to that rate. And we're going to be pushing down five to six centimetres down into the casualty's chest. So we're going to start off doing our chest compressions. And we're going to continue to do this. Now, when do you think you would stop CPR? When possibly the casualty starts to come round again? It could be that I'm really, really tired and I possibly need someone else to come in and help me and we could take over rounds with each other. It could be the fact that the ambulance arrives, the ambulance personnel come down and they take over from you and they leave you. Um, so that's what um, when you would stop CPR um, with a casualty. Thank you so much for listening. That's how you do um, CPR during COVID restrictions. Um, thank you. Bye-bye.